Hi, welcome to Rock Peaks. On this episode, we've got Santana with India Iree, Jimmy Cliff, some vintage Smiths, Band of Horses, and Neil Young. So stay tuned. This guitar vocal duet stopped us dead in our tracks last week. It's Carlos Santana and magnificent India Iree performing the George Harrison classic. What a voice. Aretha and Odetta clearly in the house here. All we can really say about this one is that you better not be messing around with Beatles songs unless you can do this. Austin City Limits is the longest running music series in the history of American television. And to kick off their 36th season this Saturday night, they brought in one of the reigning voices of the music of joy, Mr. Jimmy Cliff. Many rivers to grow, but I can't At 62, this reggae legend is showing no signs of slowing down. And what's most astonishing is just how good his voice sounds after all these years. Popping up last week in a number of live music trackers is this pristine quality DVD of a legendary early Smiths concert. Originally taped for the Old Grey Whistle Test show, this concert captures Smiths mania just as it was starting to peak. The crowd, as you can see, are totally unruly. At one point, pelting Morrissey in the eye, forcing him to flee to the wings, before later storming the stage en masse for the abortive final number. But I don't want to love. Seattle's Band of Horses continue their world tour this fall in support of their album Infinite Arms their first for a major label since leaving Sub Pop last year. Now many of their early fans have been complaining about the band's relentless drift towards a more mainstream sound. But the new album has more than its fair share of evocative alt-country moments, like this. The gorgeous Laredo, recorded earlier this year in Cologne, Germany. It's hard just to get by. Oh, my love, don't you even know? It was 25 years ago this summer that Bob Dylan said this from the stage of Live Aid. I'd just like to say I hope that some of the money that's raised for all the people in Africa, maybe they could just take a little bit of it, maybe one or two million maybe, and use it, say, to pay the, uh, pay the mortgages on some of the farms and, um, that the farmers here owe to the banks. And just two months later, thanks in large part to Willie Nelson, the first farm aid took place. Now celebrating a quarter century of fund and awareness raising, farm aid takes place again this weekend, October 2nd, and once again, Neil Young is slated to headline. They give you this, but you pay for that. And once you're gone, you can't come back when you're out of the blue. Here he is at the very first Farm Aid in 1985, blessedly just out of his shocking pink space and back to his wooden music delivering his anthem of perseverance and forbearance. I'm Barnaby Marshall. Check you next time here on Rock Peaks.